are disgusting. Uh, close your eyes yeah. when he's on top. Yeah, yeah. just the eyes. <laughs> Cuz I'm so sorry. Yikes, that hurt. That was me, Danny Maccabee, 20 years ago. Pathetic, huh? So I'm halfway done boozing away my sorrows when something pretty interesting happened. Oh, baby, you're like a Pop-Tart. Hot and sweet. Whoa! <laughs> hey, Mommy, you must play the trumpet or something because you're making me feel all horny and stuff. <laughs> You dropped your purse. Can I just sit for 10 seconds and not get hit on? Thank you. I'm just letting you know you dropped your purse. Oh, I'm sorry. That's I, fine, I, that's I, fine. I'm sure you didn't meet the lady who gave you that ring in a meat market like this. School cafeteria. How long have you been married? I was going to tell her I really was. But I didn't want her to know what a loser I was, so I stretched the truth a little. Six years. Where's your wife tonight? I stopped asking that question a long time ago. That's terrible. My wife says I work too much trying to provide for her, her shopping addiction, and crack. Why don't you just leave her? The children. All 14 of them. I just. I like to adopt. I don't want to stop doing that. You poor guy. You want to get out of here? And so I discovered the power of the wedding ring. The symbol of my humiliation had become a tool to get back on the horse. Are you kidding me? It's not for love or gift. I switched my specialty from cardiology to plastic surgery, got rid of the big hawker, and the ring became my thing. I just assumed after we got married, she'd stop hooking, but... You need to put this wedding van on a true heart. This is a good moment. Yeah. Should we go make it last for a while somewhere? <laughs> OK, let's go to your dorm. Sometimes I think about throwing the ring into the ocean. I know how wrong it is, but I can't. It's my precious. Besides, being fake married is the perfect way to make sure I never get my heart broken again. <laughs>